Okay, chat, we should be back now. Let me know if, uh, you know, it's still choppy as hell, but should be somewhat back in live. And I, that is not their logo. I just pulled up a random image that I know is not a logo that I have saved on my computer. Uh, so that is what you are looking at right now. And give me one second, Zodiac. I will be with you in a moment. I had to, I had like 400 instances of uh, Discord up. Yeah, I don't know. My Discord's super bugged. I would love for someone to explain why it's the worst thing in the world to me. Uh, I'll be, I'll be in there in one second. Hang on, Zodiac. Uh, and I'm here, Zodiac. Hello, how are you? I'm Buggleberry Finn. What's going on? Holy, I thought you would never come back from war. I know, dude. My, my mother said you either come back dead in a boxer or as a winner, and uh, Listen, I came back I can, neither. I can, I can only hold off chat for so long, and I told them that you you had to fix your creaky knees. I hey, did. Zodiac. Uh, when you guys go live again, Wait, I just want to make we sure. Just want, what? I just want to remind you to not mention that Buggles AI generated. Like, just oh, like yeah, really, yeah, yeah. No, really. No, 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 yeah. Okay. You, cool. No, yeah, I got you. What? Okay. Are we live? La chance. Oh, God. Um, that's it. Double oh my jail. God. Everyone's in double jail now. Oh my God. No. Now what you guys you can't done? do anything. I'm super jailing you. Oh, uh, uh, the LBLCS will never financially recover from this. No, this is not super jail. So, like, what's the difference between jail? Like, draft's already cooked. We haven't even. Draft's already what, cooked. The, what, what's already the difference cooked. Hey, between, they picked like, three champions each. It looks pretty fair. I don't know. I mean, that is true. You know, we there are six champions total in the game. We're halfway done with draft, but, like, What's like the difference between like jail and like super jail? Like, jail and su super jail, I just black screen you guys every stream. Until oh, you... you have it's like radio. It's just uh, it's just it's just audio. Holy shit, youngster Joey TV found the hack. He put six thousand towards. Oh my god. We got Ugh. Nautilus. Okay, let's talk about the draft a little bit. Nautilus, yeah. Zach, Ezreal, big CC monsters against us. A, a, a slow root and pound here from the Ash Zyra Hecarim. So, little. Uh, I'm sorry. I I want to say little PP boys, even though I know it's LPP boys. But let's be honest, based off that image. I mean, like it's pretty much low PP boys. I mean, like, I'm okay just, going low PP boys here. I think that's. Fair. Let's just call a spade a spade. Like, <laughs> but I mean, unironically, I. I really do like um, SBBC's comp thus far. I think it's I think Zach is kind of turbo right now, broken because he's an AP jungler that also is a tank and has big CC. Yeah, so I think that Zach's really strong. Um, Hecarim being picked jungle instead of Zyra is pretty interesting because I know Zyra jungle is like super popular right now. Yep. And Hecarim just kind of I feel takes. Do you think it's a bait? Time. You think it's a Hecarim top super bait here? I mean, that would be kind of crazy. Uh, but uh, LPP, or well, low PP, did pick one of my soul champs in Vex. Yep. Um, I think this ch character in proper matches matchups is gross. Yeah. Um, and if she builds, like, full burst, she just completely annihilates people. Wait. Uh, that might be what she is going to need to do to that... Yon, Zerath, and Ezreal, but I don't think you're going to be able to burst down this Nautilus, this Zach. They look like they're going to be pretty beefy boys. You will you will be beefy. Interesting that the answer into Vex is the Yone. This is a matchup in my personal experience. I really do like Vex into. Okay. Um, I think Yone is... His, his dashes are very... Um, what's the word? Telegraphed? Like, he's okay. not, like, I really, where he's, like, dashing all over the place, and, like, he kind of mixes right. you up. You kind of know where he's going. And so it allows Vex to, uh, as, see, see, Bugger, this is the problem with ha not having it takes two to tango. Now, instead of having people, like, <laughs> pay speckles, they're just telling me to drink. Here's the best part. You could do it at your own pace now. You don't have to chug. You do it at your own pace until they post bail. They cannot make you do it for a specific that amount of time. Oh, someone in chat did correct me. Um, it is actually Zerath mid Yone. Huh. That makes a lot more sense. Um, because I mean, I mean, I don't know. Nautilus top was literally played in the highest level of League of Legends, the LCS, uh, yesterday. Yep. So expect uh, 
expect um, uh, Keen and Genji to be uh, playing it um, all throughout Worlds. All right, I'm gonna drink. So, um, so I, I got like 40 seconds, basically. Yeah, I think you so got I 40 come... seconds. I'll take over this for just a moment here yeah. as we. Uh, Maybe go over a little bit about what was taken away, what was actually picked up here. I'm gonna switch us over to the true pick band. Hey, that looks normal, right, guys? That looks normal. No one messed with my settings. Huh. Someone definitely messed with my settings. I don't know what is going on. Okay. I chugged the rest of my beer. Dear Lachance. Ooh, anyway. Why are you changing my settings? Well, chat, you know. feel free the next time you're in a call with the chance to be like, hey, the chance, why are you changing his settings? Rude. Hey, also, Buggle, quick question. So, no. what's like the minimum I can donate to post bail? It looks like 6,000 is because people are dropping 6K on this. This thing's almost done. They're going to make, they're going to make you, you die. Fucker, you changed my settings. You changed my settings. You I was texting you about it the other day. Every time no, I don't, dude. That's on you. That is on you, man. All right? The chance. It's okay to fighting. admit when you change the settings. We know you change them. I... Guys, I opened up StreamLab the other day to black screens across guys, the board. Guys, <laughs> Everything... Mom and dad are fighting again. Everything had been rearranged. It was a nightmare. But I fixed it because I'm a professional. All right, Lachance. Which I've... Lachance, I'm going to tell you live on stream the one thing. I will fix my mistakes. I need you to fix your mistake. You can't, when okay. you use hyperlinks, it breaks it. I can't have hyperlinks be oh, I, images because it breaks my computer. It's all over. My I, computer's died. I, I only use I know, and it's, it takes me 45 <laughs> minutes to undo it all. Guys, guys, if you ever wanted to, like, take a, take a, like, sneak peek at, like, the production <laughs> here at Lobo LCS, this is it. It's just the two head streamers just arguing, like, why do you use hyperlinks? Well, I always use hyperlinks. That's this essentially what, our, what happens here. This is what our meetings are like, too. Yeah. Probably this you is should... what the board meetings look the like, chance. Yes. I'm sleeping in the bed tonight. You have the couch. We've discussed this. <laughs> no, dude. Buggle, you should... Buggle, you got a message there. Oh, no. What's the message? I don't know, dude. Hey, you should answer. You should open it up. Okay, I'm opening it up. <laughs> oh, oh shit. no! Oh no, I did it again! Yo, oh, uh, I should have switched screens. That's on me, but all the screens are hyperlinked in. I can't. I can't switch the darn. screen. Darn. Anyway, uh, hey, you should like let the community gamble their hard-earned money. We should let the community gamble, but hmm, they probably should post bail first. They should also. They could also like post bail. You know? Yeah, they're in jail. They're they jail. are. They are literally in jail. Like, well, so but think about it, right? <laughs> if you gamble, you can spend more on posting bail. <laughs> yeah, if you gamble your heart away, you can post spend like, more. Like if on you if bail. if you gamble a hundred percent of your schmeckles, you can only lose a hundred percent, but you can win two hundred percent. Like, think about it. True. Also, you can't go to jail jail for gambling. Uh, yeah, you're right. All right, no, that's fair. Can you gamble in prison? I know that's a weird, but like they have like apps right, now, and people I, get while you have let access them gamble, to phones. I will you talk a little bit about drift. Oh, Zodiac, right. Zodiac. But, do you uh, think you can do this? Can you gamble in prison? What? Like on your phone? Because you can like do DraftKings and stuff. You think you can gamble in prison? Dude, imagine. <laughs> Just imagine, like, the yard, like, and, like, dude, you, no way, my prop bet hit. When I get out of here in three years, I'm going to be rich. rich. <laughs> or, like, oh, no, but I, no, I, I owe like, so much money in jail, I'm staying here. I know. Dude, gambling aside, though, uh, talking a little bit about these two comps, yep. I definitely do think that LPP kind of salvaged their draft a little bit. Um, the Hec the Zyra Hecarim pairing was kind of weird. In my opinion, I feel like it's two champs that really want to do two different things. Uh, what, you cut in and out? Uh, that went with the Ash, and it's also super non-committal. Like, if Ash 
misses and Ord misses, like, you know, who cares? And, yeah. and the other thing is, too, is Hecarim doesn't have to be, like, the main engage flying in, right? He can wait for the CC, all, the CC, all the CC and all this long-range engage to hit, and then he can kind of fly in and play cleanup. So I really do actually like the the comp LPP is kind of drafted for themselves. Um, it's just going to all be about what Romance does on the Zac, right? Like, if Romance gets on the map faster, and especially can affect this Yone lane, um, like, you don't ever have to worry about 5v5 fights, because Yone's just kind of, like, everywhere. Right. Another fight. splitting and drawing people to him. Well, I also think that this game's pretty heavy on the, the tempo. I am a little bit, uh, happier. I think you just mentioned it a couple of times, but, like, just the, the fact that you don't think the Yone's going mid, we saw it picked up in the top lane, so they don't have that unfavorable matchup where you'd rather be that Vex. Um, I do think that, especially in, like, economy and commercial league, and this is commercial group A, you want to have the team that's ready to just go in and fight. Um, and I think both of them have actually picked teams that can just go in. You have right. the Choo Choo Orn, you have the Hecarim like you're talking about, and you have the, the Zac and the Yon. So it's, these team fights are going to be, like, 60 seconds of dancing and 10 seconds of fighting every time. Oh, exactly. Um as uh, i'm getting called the best gin and the best coach um uh, that's a misnomer i don't coach the uh, rat lords um i just like kind of sometimes tell them like what to pick also buggle your group that you're in an economy has another rat team in it it's like a it like a rat palooza right now it does let me pull up the uh yeah Welcome overlay Nothing is set up since I'm here. Um, things are starting yeah, to get set it, up. It, this strange creature in the top the left that's going to be Serenity BBC's uh, logo. Those are not What's your casters. Name? We're going to change we those casters. Uh, sure. He's yeah, what? I'm, not, I'm not a happy turn. He's sp Because that's SBBC if you throw it all at once. Uh, all right. I, I like that. It's like, I, I'm sure it means something in some language. Probably means something in some language, I agree. Yeah, I think it means something in some language. But uh, looking at rune choices here, um, it, biggest thing to note is you do have the Conqueror on Hecarim. From the little I've actually seen Hecarim, a lot of them have been opting in for that phase rush, just so they can, if they if they dive in and take a bad trade and it doesn't really look winning for the Hecarim, they can just kind of run away, or it helps them run people down. Um, which is interesting to note because there aren't really that many like standstill mega tanks on the side of um, SPVC. So I'm not sure how often he will get that Conqueror, like how much value he'll get out of it. But could still be a solid option, especially if, you know, he plays fights super carefully. For sure. I think I actually skipped over some of these names. I didn't even notice that we have Romance and Sauce in the jungle. I feel like oh that should be God, discussed wait. a little bit. Romance and Sauce. This is going to be crazy for a team of Lil PP and the SBBC, I think. You also have Zanny Granny. Oh, man. Zanny Granny Dude, goes hard and, and really soft, too. Nice hook, but it's going to be a level 1 trade there. Um, interesting to note, too, you do have Maribu. Level 2 is first going to be hit. No hook is available, though, so I'm going to walk it out. Dude, yeah, you're about three seconds ahead of me. Maybe I'm at 223, 224. Okay, hold on. Let me pause really quick. I'm pausing at 230. And 230 now. Hit it. One, two, you're good. three. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I just have future sight, actually. Yeah, you just... <laughs> just look at I, I knew. Oh, if you just Nautilus knew what would level... happen. Yeah. <laughs> Israel hit level two. He's probably eating in here. <laughs> Those diamond predictions from Zodiac. Yeah. You know, interesting enough, uh, Nautilus Ezreal kind of getting the shove in on Axe Zyra. That's not something you would expect from the Zyra lane. Because Zyra can just kind of like block all the hooks with plants. So interesting to see that that is the case here. Dino now going in nice and top level from Zany Granny. Yeah, finding a little bit of damage is not going to be enough, but Sauce coming in on Romance is going to be able to take the blue buff. Romance safely gets it. Yeah, good smite there from Romance. Secures his own blue buff, and Hecarim kind of, you know, doing a little devious work here. Is now really actually behind in tempo here, because 
I believe he full cleared his top side and is now running. He's now having to do his bot side. Meanwhile, Zach has already finished his full full. He skipped romp. But he's basically done a full clear down. Now he's looking mid lane. Yeah, Mike in mid lane. Right he does jump in. He's gonna find some CC right now under Rayman. 27, knock him back. Flash forward from Cheeto. Means they connect the stun. Means they do pick up first blood onto the Zerath. Yeah, great gank there. Secures that first blood. And Rainman just, honestly, not only is Flash, Zandy Gray actually maybe could have gone for the solo kill there. Had Flash at least maybe forced the Flash out there from the Yone. Doesn't go for it instead. Dino should get this crash off. And Sauce is chasing him down here. Romance gonna be able to jump away. All gold lead being generated already, not just from the kill, but from CS across the board. Nice hit. Oh, Zany Gray hit the knockup. He gets his back. He said, oh, but he gets him. Massive play right there as they trade. Now Marif going really crazy all the way in, though. Does he have any spells left in his book? There's a Q. It's going to connect the flash forward and the auto attack. It's going to be enough, but Sauce is here to knock him. Not in the tower range, though. He's still got a little bit of life. He's trying to walk it out. Fear to Panda knows that his ADC is gone. He is going to leave. Keep his life. Okay. There. And it kind of feels like, you know, we have so much to talk about there. I mean... First off, a great play from Zanny Granny because he comes back to lane. He doesn't even miss that much. The wave, he does end up losing like a couple minions, but he'll be able to get the shove off here and stay up in CS. Meanwhile, back mid lane, I'm not even giving a chance to talk. Yeah, another fight up in the top lane. is Here comes the ultimate from Zanny Granny, but Rain Man also dropping super low yet again. Q's going to connect, but can he find it? He's got <laughs> underneath the tower. He's not going to keep diving, and Zanny Granny was able to chase Yone off of the top lane. Yeah, and this really isn't what you want with this Yone into Orn matchup. You really want this Yone to kind of be sticking it to this Orn. Because when Orn starts to win lane, it's so difficult to start to deal with him because he just gets incredibly tanky. And you're like, your backline is like Ezreal, like Ezreal Zera. Like, not, Orn just doesn't care about getting whittled down because he can just build Warmogs and just laugh in your face. Right, he has a lot of ability to go super tanky you do have different damage uh profiles so you do have the ad you do have the ap that will help a little bit but yeah we've seen what happens when orn gets ahead against yon twice this actually last week in lblcs we saw yon go four and zero uh orn go four and zero against the yon so if it starts to roll one way it keeps rolling it's that snowball effect that we talked about yeah and right now dino's just not able to apply that much pressure into him too orn is just safely farming his turret you know, Romance hasn't once looked top in this lane, and I kind of feel like that's where you should be investing a lot of your resources. Like, get this Yone ahead, allow him to be in the side lanes, it should be this massive nuisance to anyone to go try to deal with him. A lot of people looking at the, the gold right now, we'll see a 1k deficit, and that is mostly from CS. If you look down at the bottom of the scoreboard, only orange the counterpart that is up right now. Just quick, quick spread of the gold. Yeah, and you know, right now, the biggest thing though is Sauce is, Sauce is down in farm, but you know, that kill's kind of making up the difference. He does have basically another you know, full clear to go do if he wants to go straight straight to Krugs and then path straight down afterwards. We'll also secure all the grubs here. It's a grubs for dragon which is, trade. Yeah, which I think, honestly, if you are SBBC, you kind of like this trade more. You know, all your lanes are kind of pushing into the team with grubs, you know, and so yeah. you're totally content. Like, the big thing with grubs, especially in the early game, is you want the grubs to be able to secure yourself more plates than you would actually get. Yep. So, you know, it's a, it's a couple, you know, extra hundred gold here and there to kind of help snowball this early lead. Well, if you're not really hitting the turrets, they kind of don't provide any value. I believe you can still receive caster compliments. Uh, I believe you can still do that even oh. though you guys are arrested. I've, I've, see, I told the rats that I would be, I would be casting, and now they all, like, want stuff from me. They all want stuff from me. Yeah, I never tell anyone I'm doing anything, not even myself. That way I don't know what's going on. You, you, you surprise yourself? No, never let them know your next move. But uh, unironically, I will actually throw a compliment towards JT. Um, 
Chasey is like generally one of the better like random junglers I've found just picked up. I think he's like a really cool dude. I think his drive, his competitive drive is really high. I think that always lets him kind of want to get better and grow. And I really appreciate that about him. I just sometimes wish he wouldn't like pigeonhole himself be like, guys, I need to be the first guy that pulls out like Jinx jungle in the competitive setting. <laughs> like, yeah, the desire for the for the bizarre. Yeah, like be content with being the best jungler. Don't be content with being uh -oh. like. With you can't be content. Jungler. Actually, nice drive here. We're gonna dive you. The Zach set up and the Zerath ultimate means there's nowhere to go. Orn goes down. Marie chasing right now. A couple levels ahead. The dredge line's going to catch as well. Nice barrier's gonna keep him alive, and nobody goes down. Ultimate already used for Marie, so. Can't even find that, but here comes Sauce moving. Mach 10 right on into Panda. Doing a lot of damage right now. Down. But okay, Ash actually low on the backside as well. Can Marie help pick up a kill? Dread Flight going to check on the right target. They're able to pick him up. That means Ash will get any of these. But Hecarim finds one, and Zyra's going to find the other. It is a two for one in the end. Yeah, Zyra picking that kill up actually set still pretty good for SPBC. You don't want this Hecarim getting to 3 0, oh, because once it gets to that point, he just becomes so hard to deal with with your comp. But on the other side of the map, a great dive coming out. And that's honestly one of the underrated parts about Zerath that we haven't even, we didn't even discuss. Mostly because we couldn't. But, you know, Zerath's ability to kind of just walk into the river and be in a side lane with his ultimate really helps out with these dives. This is a really tricky scenario because actually for this side of SPVC, they actually have the correct gold on the correct people like two kills on his era two kills on Ezreal the other kill is on to the Yone so the way they're allocating these kills is gonna be really helpful come mid game come late game when they start to do these team fights and on the other side it's really just Hecarim yes he has the eclipse finish yes he'll be super impactful with the ganks but you need to have them speaking of ganks here comes Panda up to the top lane Dino gonna go in right now they're gonna find oh, something to see onto him but a nice W is gonna keep him alive here comes the Ornorn he's gonna try to keep them all off and he gets knocked up by the ultimate dredge line's gonna follow Dino trying to find a way back in. He takes a little bit of damage and he has to leave, but it's another three man to the top lane as he tries to dash away. The flash is not oh. enough, and he will go down for the third time this game. Yone picked up the kill. I feel like he flashed. As soon as he dashed, he actually probably gets out of this, but. Ooh, Rayman's not gonna get caught here. He gets pulled out of one of those, but he takes tower aggro, and that is all they are gonna need to finish off that kill right there. There is nowhere to run when the tower's on you. What was so interesting too was I feel like there, if you're um, Vex, I understand your idea. Like, okay, I have to try and get stuff back right now. And I have to try and get some plates, but you have no eyes on the Zack and that's the dangerous part about that. If you don't have great vision control, if you can't find him around the map, it's kind of doomed. Oh, I missed though. Yeah, it's not going to connect. They are actually on those grubs right now, so they're bringing up four people, and they're going to spot it out right here. What? Ezreal Ultimate comes up through the side. He's going to connect onto a couple of them. Zanny Granny looking for something. Romance going to go over the wall safely, and the five move to the no longer here objective. Okay. So... Uh oh Dredge Light connects into the right person, and now they're in a fight. Trying to return a little bit of damage. Soft coming up. He's going to knock people out of Ultimate. He's going to fear him back. He should be able to connect at least one. Ash picking up that kill right there, but Ezreal taking free plates in the bottom and going way up in CS. Picking up more gold. If he gets two plates here, it is probably a net loss play from the side of uh, LPP, but you do get an important kill on the Ash. So yes, while it is a net loss, you are trying to get gold back on your carries, so you have to take it where you can. Yeah, you are trying to just make plays. They didn't know that everything was being taken. Then Hecarim's all the way back down here on this Cloud Drake as well. Trying to get it done before everyone else can get here, but Nautilus might come over the wall. Hawkshot's going to spot them out. Yeah, Zareth, now he has turned back and he is starting to scout it out. Our least oh, arcade is smite. used. Good smite, making sure you secure it. You got to have it up when you do those. He did, they got it. No steal from Zareth. Underneath tower... I know it's a little crazy. Yeah, good patience there from Sauce. Just, you know, making sure he secures that dragon. Stops the dragon stacking from the side of SBBC. Um, so overall, good stuff here.
Um, try, trying to trying to kind of melt this comeback through Romance. this early game. Man. Looking for love in the bot lane. Can he make two things connect? He's not going to go in. Beard of Panda. Kind of. Kind of tell. Kind of showing the tell that, hey, I have someone here. Um, you know, he is a Nautilus just kind of walking at you. I think you can't expect, hey, I probably shouldn't walk at him back. That is the greatest Nautilus move, is just to walk slowly at your opponent. For a while. It, it is, especially on like Astro Nautilus. Yeah. Cause like, you're like, just bouncing at them. Yeah. Interesting though here, both mid laners opting for that Luden, so just looking to try and burst their opponents down as much as they can. Yone does not have upgraded boots, cause who needs them? Um, Ezreal doesn't even have boots. Because who needs them? Boots overrated. That's what we're learning right now from this game. I mean, like, there was a whole discussion in uh, LBLCS about, like, you know, control wards. And, like, but, like, you know, because I'm in the boat, like, wards don't do damage. I'll so, let like, you know right now, you're going to want to buy boots in LBLCS because the chance like those. And if you got those puppies unguarded, I mean, you got to be careful out there. That, the that might be one of the most insane statements I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being you. dropped. Here comes everybody going in. Nice dodge. Oh, nice Get his nap back. He's gonna get hit off a lot though. Sauce is pretty big. Here comes an Uncle. He's gonna find some damage out of them. It might help him turn it. And Sauce gets super low. He has to keep dodging. He can't. Chino picks up that kill. Romance is coming in and they're gonna pounce on him. They turn it around. It's a two for zero. So good there from the side of LPP. You're able to potentially secure a kill on this Yona. It gets turned in their face thanks to the power of the Xerath, you know. And Vex just isn't following the roam, just permanently getting shoved in because Vex just gets Giga outranged in this matchup, so they can't really Another do friend. anything. Yeah. It's it's tough, and now it's gonna get even more tough with a fed Zerath coming on down to the bot lane. You're gonna get slowed, you're gonna get CC. Mareep's gonna go all the way in, but he gets knocked up. He's not able to flash away, though. They find the damage. Ash with the blue suede shoes, trying to dodge for the cans, get up their flash. Might just go down, uses the barrier to stay alive, and dodges the rest of the skill shots. You're able to survive there, but another kill going over. Here comes Sauce, though. Big ultimate coming in, too. This might up. be oh, actual to Provado. It might not be enough. The W, oh, the Q is going to connect as Rain Man is once again feeling the hell from above. Getting totally taken down here in the mid lane, and Yellen's going to pick up their third kill. These BBC are just everywhere this game. Constantly finding engages, constantly finding the right fights. And right now, they have a 7k goalie does. They're looking for the dive oh, right now. Oh my god, this a is lot of damage. It's almost to bait the fact that he took the Herald in like that just to swoop around. Good play from Fear to Panda. You better fear him. He's coming after you. Play it. So you know he was like, I totally planned this, guys. <laughs> I've been in the practice tools, practicing my drifts right now. Zareth is ulting just to get some poke damage. Have a welcome to welcome to lane. I love that. I love I love the idea of someone going to practice too and just killing Harold and over over and over again to practice drifting. I mean, my team ever asked me like, "Hey, can you pick up Harold and drive it?" I'm like, "Hell no! <laughs> what if you guys do it?" <laughs> this is a lull state, which Never is good for the side of LPP. Luffy, thank you cold. for the. Dub. And we had a follow a minute ago. Thank you to every follow. I think it was Spec Speckle or Speckroll or something like that. Thank you for the follow. And if that wasn't your name, I know my, then whoever it was, thank you. I know my uh, economy support also followed uh, Mr. Lyra Storm, aka Ratlantis. Ratlantis, thank you for the follow. I heard Rat House and you had a big rat battle. Uh, Rathus. Rathus, sorry, Rathus on cast, but Rat House when he's against. Yeah. The rat team. <laughs> yeah, no, Rat House went great. We kind of, we kind of like did a cardinal sin of the rats, and like we gave another team Twitch. So yeah, well, last yesterday, I mean, I'm doggy bone goblin zone, and people played double dogs against us. I started sweating. So, oh yeah. yeah. So he's got to be careful when they counter you.
No one saw that dino, it was just directed camo. Never camera. underestimate the power of the so, scout's code. Everyone's eyes were collectively closed. The sauce is still looking here on dino right now. Yeah, one more getting dropped as well. He was already used. He is gonna get hit up. Sauce kind of waiting for the ad zero and the vex, but it's not coming in. Trying to stay alive for a little bit longer. Can't find the knockup. Oh. His level 13 Yone just going totally crazy, even though he's completely outnumbered. Nice shield right there, trying to do the damage right back. Trying to dodge it. Nice knockup. A little more damage onto Rain Man. Might do it. Can he do it? Ash Arrow's gonna miss. He's going on the wall. He's able to grab it. He's not even down. He might be able to get out of this right now. You hey. do not give this man Yone. Uh, my eye gasped verbally like three times. Oh, he's flashing the wall. No, he's still alive. Oh, he does go down eventually. Zyra picks up that kill right there. And now everybody else is here in the fight. Nice grab from Krent. Staying alive. They're at the end of it all, but oh my god, Dino just goes berserk in that fight. Yep. In a 3 1 takes down two, and oh uh, well, goodbye. Ash is gonna get jumped on and taken out, and mobile ADCs is Zach's bread and butter to go on. Zin Money, thank you for the prime sub as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, Dino just refusing to go extinct up in the top lane is able to take down several kills before they actually go down in what was an absolutely insane fight. I think some heal cutting is going to be necessary now that he's finished up Blade of the Ruined King and he's got that Bloodline item. He's going to be tough to kill. Sitting on currently, sitting in base waiting for that BF sword. So nearing the Infinity Edge purchase here. I mean, but... If you're the side of L uh, low PP, I think the biggest thing you have to do is you have long range engage options. And I like the idea of looking on Dino, but honestly, I think you might just need to commit more to him. It can't just be, you know, the Hecarim and Orn because Hecarim at this point, remember, he started 2-0 and and just kind of fell off the face of the earth thus far. Yeah, so. I, I mean, Zodiac, listen, right now, SBDC are ahead. They're kind of extending that lead. They're stretching it out. Now it's becoming a big lead. But little PP boys, I mean, there's room to grow. Let's be really clear about that. There's a room to grow for little PP boys here in this game. It's not the size of the lead, you know, it's kind of what you do it's with it. It's what you do. You know it's I mean? not the size of the lead. It's what you do with it exactly. That is what we're trying to say here at the LBLCS. Uh... <laughs> Because listen, I've watched enough G2 versus Fnatic to know that no lead is safe, especially <laughs> if there's an Ezreal in the game. Yeah, uh, Mareep, 5, 2, and 0. He does bleed, but got a big bounty on him right now. If you get down to the right target, or if you can get Zeras first death onto the right target, you could be looking pretty good here. Yeah, and right now, he has just so many threats he can just sit behind, because yeah. there's so much attention that's going to be played to this Yone that... Ezreal can kind of just E in, hit one or two Qs, and just kind of start scooping up kills in these fights. Yeah, it is a 10k gold lead at 20 minutes. I'm going to say that again. It's a 10k gold lead at 20 minutes. I mean, this... But remember, it's a rather large lead. Big lead. Right. It's a big lead. But again, you know, sometimes it's those aren't always the most fruitful leads. You know true, what I mean? True. Oh my god, Crank. Oh, good oh my dive God! right at the end. He had him in the first half, not going to lie. I was a little worried about him. Uh, oh, Sauce choosing wisely, just going to back away here. It's a little risque from them. It, it is a little risky, but you do have Fear the Panda kind of building them off. You do have Zareth now waiting in the winds of Rel. Yone does have teleport, so I imagine this call is just to turn here, but... Look, TP not interested in contesting. They do see it now. Oh, no. Hecarim's actually going around the correct way to stay alive right here. But he's going to get nice. CC. He might get taken out. He's over the wall. Can they finish it off in time? It's going to be a really close battle. It is Hecarim that's able to oh, kill he it. He's the Baron away from them. But maybe it's a turn right now because they already have one down. Here comes the Horn Horn. It doesn't connect onto him. But the Vex does hit Marie. Are they going to turn oh, for it? They are they're not, not. Gonna go they're for it, holding. Though. They're going to say, let's hold on to our four Baron right now. We just stole it. This is our route back into the game. Oh, but he's not. Zach's not done. He's jumping in right now. Actually, gets CC'd up. Ezreal is now in this Danny here, Granny but trying to do the damage. Oh, he jumps in. Ezreal, Marie going all the way.
play in doing so much. Zyra, can you do anything? It doesn't look like it. That passive does go down. Danny Granny is here, but I actually... Oh, wait, you might be able to pick up a kill right there on the Marip. He does. He's oh, we got him! Ever. It's a massive kill. He does die in the end. Oh, that I means only to have to him out. Zyra has the Baron left. Holy shit, Zack is actually back to help him, help, have help after that, but what a fucking steal dodge. sauce there. Nice dodge there coming out from the man, dude, but what a steal from him. Yeah, sauce able to grab that giant purple worm right from underneath Romance, and it does make the game a lot more playable for the next eight minutes. Maybe not, uh... Win the game worthy, but certainly stay alive. Force them to take these next two dragons and then come in. Yeah, it will force, but it, again, it is Mountain Soul, and with Vex's build, like you hate playing against Mountain Soul with Vex. Yeah. All that added resistances just means you can't one shot anyone. But right. In defense, who can Vex even one shot this game? I mean, you're jumping into Zareth Ezreal. I'm not even counting Yoda because like he is. So, so ridiculously fed steel. at this point. Yeah. Um, but like, I, I think if you jump into Zareth, I think he just kills you. Like, I'm not even kidding. I and think it, at this point he just kind of like taps you. There's so many ways to CC you. Speaking of CC, Red Line's gonna connect uh -oh, right sauce. here. Ultimate is coming up. He does get the ultimate over the wall. He's trying to outrun the dots, but he can't. Marif jumps right over. Is gonna find the kill. 21 to 8 goes the score as Zareth just fires off a couple of warning shots. Yeah, sadly, no matter how fast you are, you can't outrun Death Charge. So it'll just be more of Sasa's jungle being taken away from him. So yeah, I mean, the, the Baron still is good. You should still have Baron on the Zyra. I just need to check her. Yeah, she does still have Baron. You will have to probably give this out a turret, but you have to try and defend the inhibitor turret. So it looks like it is a five-man siege this top inner yeah zyra has the baron it is gonna slow this down a little bit if they can just clear these waves safely that's not a long lasting baron but even just one wave right here does give them some breathing room yeah it is baron is about to run out but you are again this is the only wave you have to worry about as of right now so you can just kind of you know keep licking your wounds keep trying to heal back up in base. Nautilus is fairly low here. I think this will just be an inhibitor and a back here. Although you don't have Shadow Surge to potentially threaten and engage here. Ultimate getting dropped. Can he find it onto Zanny Granny Marie also trying to help with that discovery of maybe a kill as Rain Man tasked with clearing the wave. Yeah, Rain Man just trying to catch that wave. But again, at these, in these kind of situations, you will take a three for two, especially when there are huge shutdowns that... You are getting as Mary is just jumping in, nearly kills Krent there. Yeah. Lost. Already up on Marie, dropping the ultimate. Rain Man following with the damage that they can, but they can't finish it off. The Q's not going to connect for the kill. And Marie stays alive. He's going to heal up off these minions. Dino going to look for a deep dive. Does find some. He's going to have to zap back to stay alive as you start to take tower shots. Yeah, it does lose half. Let's lose half his health. The intelligent oh. air is going to land. Shadow Surge just misses, but this will be another shutdown going over to the side of LPP. Yeah, and they're still only about 10k down at this point in the game. They are going to have supers marching up the mid lane right now, so maybe a little bit more gold in their pockets, but also harder to get to this soul either that's coming up in 126 ish or this Baron that's coming up in just over a minute. Yeah, and again, it is so hard. You can see Krent trying to clear out the waves, but he is by himself. Oh, no. And I see a big Nas walking their way. Dino's here. He's there. He's every fucking where. He is gonna find you, Krent. And that, that all basically secures the Baron buff on the side of SB, S, SBBC. I almost just called them BBC. This is not the British Broadcasting Channel. 
Although, like, are they, like, allowed in the OBLC? It's like, if they made a team. The British Broadcasting right. Channel? Yes, but they would have to have a caster on with us casting their game. <laughs> oh, dude, please. I would just make, like, revolutionary war references, like, every <laughs> five minutes. Yeah, I mean, as long as they have more than 1776 gold, I think they're going to be fine to back <laughs> here. Um, Baron is spawning. Just make sure they don't cast on July 4th. <laughs> Dragon coming up in 18 seconds now. They're on Baron. It is being taken as we're speaking. Yeah, they are on Baron. This Baron is kind of evaporating right yeah, now. Yeah, they're saying, let's let's give them Baron. Let's play for this Drake. Let's try to get it. But there's enough time for them to start to run down here because they can't even start blowing it up. Zyra does have some plans in there to help hurt it. Here they come, though. They're marching right down from the mid lane. This is going to be a big fight. Zodiac, the Ornhorn comes down early. He's going to try to buy his team time. He finds three. Heckler oh, finds good, the Drake. And up. they are running for the hills because Yone is going to be in their base with the Baron and a super in a couple of seconds. And if they don't get Yone there, be able to end the game, game because the, yeah the rest of SBBC is just trying to stop back they will just have to try and walk it in but here comes Zach nice fear to stop the engage though a lot of damage coming out as the Zyra ult is going to connect and a lot of people are getting hit back in the base though a lot is going on as they find one kill here they miss the ult for the ash ult is going to connect but a nice cleanse from him is going to keep him alive but sauce about to get sauce himself is the deep dive deep dive from dino is going to find the kill they're on the other side now. They might be able to find Yone. Getting closer and closer. They should be able to pick up this kill. Ash stays safe from the queue, and they do. So even though they lose the Baron, they find two kills to one. And they probably can hold their base, Zodiac. They probably can, but again, right now, you do have to start dealing with the siege of a Zareth and an Ezreal here. Here comes the Unleashed Arcane. Rain Man needs to put on his oh, dancing shoes. Ezreal help find the snipe right there. He's going to pick up the kill. And now Mareep is leaping in. And so is Zach. He's going to fight two with the CC. Mareep does not go down. Yes, he does. Zyra's going to pick up the kill right there. Krent running for the hills because Romance does so much damage. He's saying, come back for a kiss. I just want to love you. Can they end the game right here? Cheeto going to look for more damage onto these minions. But Sauce is back up. He's moving Sauce quickly. Is he here. gets stunned. Good stun right there from Cheeto. They might be able to hold on to it. Another inhib is taken down. Zanny Granny looking for the chase. Can't find the CC. Sauce running around but doesn't know that Nautilus is waiting in the wings. And they're going to find so much damage onto him right now. Yes, he has the Hex Drinker, but it might not be enough. Dredge Line's going to connect. He's going to ult over the wall to try to stay alive. And it might actually be enough right here. Can he dodge the Q from Romance? He gets not. And he gets taken down. Oh, the one piece of ability hits onto the Hecarim there. That will... That cost him his life. You at least get triple on him here. Teleport coming a in. A TP's coming in they though from the Yone. This will have to be the final stand. Yeah, they want to end game one. Massive knock up right there onto the back end. And they find so much in the CC. But Dino goes too far deep. He actually dies underneath the tower right there. And now everybody might go down right here. Chio trying to help end the game. But it looks like Zach's going to be the next one to fall. He does have his passive available. He will stay alive for a little bit longer. Ash is going to connect. There goes Vex going all the way in. They're fighting the damage on the right targets. They might be able to turn this around right now. As Romance now is going to get hit by the Vex. Can they go in and grab it? They do, but a nice flash away. It's going to keep them alive. The Q is not enough damage, and they have to hold on to their base now. Oh, that's bullshit, bro. How the f Why can Zag jump from that far? What the fuck? This is showing you the tenacity that little BP boys got in this game. They will not give up, but it's also showing the prowess, the dominance, the great team fighting coming out of SBBC. Yeah, I mean... I mean, Another I think it is great team fighting, but I also think that it's just them, like, constantly overstepping. It's kind of the, you know, the greatest North American strategy of all time of, hey, guys, let's walk in one by one and Another see what happens. Friend. And they literally are just kind of walking in one by one and just all dying. Yeah, but they're picking up kills along the way. Like, only in the last two fights have we even seen Lil PP being able to do what they can do. However, chat is right. Vega is right. Ornament coming out. Maybe it gives them an edge. However, two inhibs down and, and I'll add, no towers at all. I guess... I guess the potential comeback has potentially destroyed Bubbles Mike. But, um, no, unironically, <laughs> like, you do start to have ornaments here, and so you do have the chance, but now you have no turrets to kind of hide behind it. Zerath that you now have to deal with.
And there's nothing that's there's actually no, there literally is nothing that stands in their way except for the five members of Lil Pee Pee. Yeah, looking like it is going to be a march into the base. Looking for the end of the game here. They are doing it methodically now. They are not doing the run in one at a time. They are saying, push them all the way in. Use every single super minion we have. Let's go grab this final Drake and let's end the game. That is the game plan right now. You can go, go get the Drake. You can go then get the Baron. And at that point, it's kind of wraps because again, you know, they will have more items, but you will have almost Exodia basically. With Soul and Baron, obviously you won't have the Elder. And so it's about what kind of gold can you scrounge up if you're low PP before this potential fight, before you have to deal with both Mountain Soul and Baron. Yeah, and they're on it right now. The base still being held. Minions have not taken the war over. Their Soul. There is Soul and looks like they're just gonna go the way go to the wayside with the Baron. They are just gonna go straight for the base. Zareth is using the Unleashed Arcane here, just try and whittle them down here before the fight. Ash or is actually gonna be used here. Right here. Nice for oh the my god! Right the comes from the everybody. Zach gets in there, he's gonna knock some people together. The Ornhorn is gonna connect onto four people, but it might be too little too late as Zach picks up a kill. Zareth picks up a kill. Ash goes down and everything falls apart for Lil Peep Pee boys. SBBC gonna take a hard victory here in game one. Yeah, SBBC showing their prowess on this on this honestly this pretty cool comp where it's like you have multiple dive threats and multiple dive options with two champions that just stand so far away from you that it's just so hard to get onto them unless they just kind of like misstep and start walking into you yeah it was a very very solid display honestly from both teams we know a couple of things one they are not going to back down if they go down. And two, SBBC are super, super strong. So two teams that definitely watch in commercial A. Let's see if we're going to get a three-game series or if these guys are going to be able to close it out in just two. I'm hoping for a three-game series. I can't lie. I've had too many two-game series in my life that I've casted. I've broken the spell once broken the spell only once i've only had one three game series that was a monstrous game that was intensity jam-packed at one point it was a kill a minute at the end it was just feeling totally totally crazy um We're going to get into this next one in a couple of seconds here once we get the draft link. I want to know your take. How would you change? I have draft up from the last game on the screen right now for chat. Um, so I just want to know your take, Dudiac. What do you got for changes that you think little PP should make versus SBBC? I feel like showing Zyra, like, as Zyra is fine because, like, the idea with Zyra is like, okay, we can send it jungle. And like it'll be fine but the problem is is once you see the zach i feel like you can you're still fine to play the zyra you know she did do the most damage on your team but it kind of it kind of felt very inconsequential you know what i mean it's kind of like oh no these plants are just kind of always hitting me right oh well right and i think I understand the the vex pick there but again understanding that it can be a yone flex so you do have to now watch out for that right um, right yeah because if you're anticipating just, you just, have the winning lane and then they change it up it's a little different yeah i also just maybe like more consistently especially consistency coming out especially from sauce in the jungle um just you know getting him on a champion where if he falls behind his his comeback strategy can doesn't have to just be okay i just have to keep running at them and prank 
I did like that both teams were kind of like, we're just going to run at each other the entire game. It made for an excited jam pack. I mean, Sauce oh, is the yeah. reason that game went so late, too, right? Zodiac Beast, he steals the Baron. They're able to hold on to the game for another two whole dragons. So another 10 plus minutes, they hold on to this game. And it gets pretty freaking crazy. So, yes, they need to, I think, adapt their draft here a little bit. But I also think they need to maybe be more reactive because a lot of the issues that we saw with their draft was actually just because certain people got ahead on the side of SBB. I mean, I definitely agree. I also think that, you know, if you're you if you are going to pick something like Ash Zyra bot lane, you cannot fall behind and just get perma shoved in right. by a Nautilus lane, right? Like that's kind of like you're kind of defeating the whole purpose of playing Zyra at that point. And and to your uh Warning, Yone is actually one of the things that they decided to take off the table. They had to use too many resources to kill it in those fights. They didn't have things for everyone else. The Zac also something they found very problematic, and I agree the engage from super far away definitely messed them up. The Leona is off the table. They're trying to take away their engage tools, and the Nautilus is going to be taken away from little peepee -pee boys who didn't even play it last game, but the Amumu picked up first, and if that's the, in the jungle... The paper towel. If that's in the jungle, that's the what we're talking about the paper towel i mean it's so much more consistent engage i mean you don't have great options to get out but on a mobile you are just okay the thunder bear is going to be locked in as a response i do like this it is a true flex again you can play it both top lane and jungle so you, you aren't actually showing too much right. with the ball bear selection here um i would also like to see them just pick the ezreal up again i mean again it is literally still open and i think ezreal is just kind of disgusting right now Will we see the no pick? Oh, it will be Nami instead. It's going to be the Nami. So, Bully Bear Nami picked up right now. A lot of just power coming out. I wonder if they are going to put this in the jungle or the top lane. We've seen it in both so far in the LBLCS. Yeah, I would also like to see, and I know it's a little bit hard for both teams because we already have so much magic damage. Oh, we will see the Zyra again. So we'll just, that again, that's probably just going support again. So yes, yeah. maybe more consistent damage, uh, but it's unlikely because of all the magic damage we already have. But I really would like to see an Aurora. I think this champ is disgusting right now. Like, I think she is so strong. Like, even if she is behind, she has a big multi-man Camille R basically. Right. Like that's nuts. Holds them all in place. Would be super strong with the two champions picked up because you think about the shape of their ultimates, the size of their ultimates. These are big circles they're gonna drop in these fights. Instead, they're gonna lock up that Zaya early on. Yeah, interesting that we are gonna see the Zaya, Zaya picked up. There isn't too much dive right now on BBC, but I guess this maybe is an anticipatory Anticip I can't even say the word. They think it. They think they're gonna play dive. Not anticipation. Do, That's not a word. <laughs> I do think Bully Bear. This is an anticipation of Bully Bear being in the jungle. This is what this is. They're saying, hey, he might come in. They might look for some stuff once he has that ultimate. The Nami is Ooh. right there. Now they're also going to drop in the Varus. They can get you from afar. They can look to dive you underneath these towers. So not a bad pickup here. I do think you maybe want to pigeonhole their comp a little bit. Think about the things that you know that they play. You already took a lot of dive off the table. You took Leona. You took Yone. You took Zach. But the way BBC was playing last game, they were looking for the constant chances to go underneath towers and kill you. Anything you could take away that would help them with that journey, that's what you want to take away here. Yeah, but I also think that if you're LPP, I think you need to just draft stuff that just outrange, like ban stuff that outranges the Zaya. Because while Zaya, Zaya is really good at countering dive, she does not like it when you outrange her, right? Like, and that's why I really like this Varus pick. And I, I hope, I hope he does not go on hit. And I think he just up, like, just go straight for poke because. Zaya can't play the video game. Right. If she like is trying to walk to an objective and she loses like three quarters of her or like half her health from a Q. Right. It becomes very, very dangerous and it's one or two spells away and she only has the ability to dodge one of them with her ultimate. I will say though, they are still something they could take and that does actually complement dives. We saw a couple times he just roams halfway from mid to either bot or top and the jungler dives and he drops the ultimate right on top of them they're able to pepper all the damage in so the fact that Zerath is still available could be detrimental to the side of lpp boys yeah i think you just have to ban in here i mean you look at what bbc 
is banning, you're banning Galio Ari, two champs. Well, Galio, one champion, just frankly doesn't care about Zareth and just like, okay, right. see ya. And then Ari, who's something who can easily get in onto Zareth and get out if she ever gets caught overextended trying to go for the Zareth here. So I think the Zareth is a must ban, especially with the Zaya, and they are opting for the Viego ban. They're actually not sure where this Volley Bear is, and they're saying, okay, let's take away the best champion from their top that we don't want to deal with now that is still left on the table, and their best champion from the jungle that we don't want to deal with, it's these two. Now we've played it safe, they can't pick either, but it does leave Zareth up, and they could take it right here. Or they could wait and hold, see if it's a good matchup. I think they might I think they might pick their mid lane here to hold Volley Bear true flex. Yep. Um still to the very end. And actually it is going to be the Azir. I actually don't know how I feel about Azir into their comp. Hold on, the chat is asking for you to pay out. I, I, already, like, I already messaged that I'm not doing it until the draft is over. Oh, that's fair. Hater, I mean I would all, if, also if is I, a reading hater. Oh true. I also think that like you could also just like hold on to it. Yeah, until you guys pay Bill. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> that would be arch. That would be very villainy. I'd like that. We do see the Mordekaiser are locked in, so this would be this is a decent answer into the volley bear, because you kinda just like do nothing mm. um into it. Um, hold on, I just got a Why are they saying why is Fear to Panda saying ready? Brother, we are currently drafting. I do not know why they're saying our Fizz is My gonna be locked God. in. God! This is a fucking insane throwdown. A lot of circles, bro. Amumu, Zyra, Fizz, Mordekaiser technically puts you in a circle. Okay, Very so hear me out here. Hear me out here. This is gonna sound crazy. What if. You go Azir top, Volibear jungle, and then Diana mid lane. Maybe the Rennington picked up, so the Volibear probably is in Okay, the we're going Croc it out. That's fine. Rocking that Croc. Rocking the Croc, and yes, I will now do the payouts, and yes, you can now bet again. Blah, 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 blah. It would be really funny if blah, I could, blah, blah, like, when people, when people bet the most amount of Schmeckles, I think last week, yeah, they... last week we had 400,000 Schmeckles that were bet one stream. I could have just never distributed them back out. I could have just held on to them forever. You know? I think the, it would have been fine. The actual, the greatest. <laughs> like, what are people going to do? Like, are they going to wait? Are they going to remember that? Yeah, I mean, come on. No one's going no exactly. to bother me every day for the next 600 years. Um, I'm going to do the payout right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it on this screen so you guys can see the full draft. I will switch it over once they start selecting uh, what lanes these are all in. Yeah. I can commit fraud uh, if I want I someone. Really? What's up? Yelling at someone here. Well, I guess I have a little moment to talk here. Um, um, to get the Zaya ahead. She is your sole attack damage threat. You have listen, listen, chat. I, 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 I have to admit this. This, this fucking fish tilt champion. Like I, I despise this champion so much. I hate playing against them. I don't play him. He just counters every fucking champion in my pool. It's, it's just so cooked every time I see him. So like. So I don't know, man. I just hate. I just hate yeah, this dude, fucking he's, he's fish. He's a menace to society, dude. I get it. He's a little fish. Although exactly. decent pick here into the Azir can get over his wall, can really try to dominate that mid lane as much as oh, he can. Um, it, it's a fucking dark. It's a fucking dark counter. Yeah. But if the Azir is good enough, what you can do is if you have. If you have enough, like, reaction time, and you have enough, like, resistances to survive the Fizz E, like, RE, when he lands, you can instantly shove him back. Because even if he Qs through you, your R will shove him back. True. But that... Oh 
Yeah, he's writing an angry message to Bear. Yeah, no, you're good. You can still talk. Everyone can hear you. You can still talk about how uh, okay, bullshit good, good, this good, matchup good. is and how it makes you want to cry when you think about it at night. And... Oh, I mean, like, uh, well, I mean, I I don't play Azir that much, but like, I play like Syndra a lot, and like this match, that matchup just atrocious. Yeah, having to get out of jail free card what the all the time is never underestimate yeah. the power of the Like literally card. there's like no point to level E in the Cinder lane. Like, like you might as well just max QW and like never take E until you get out. Nice try, Bear. I'm not reading those messages. <laughs> Who has all the power now, Bear? Um no signal. Thank you for the prime sub, dude. We drop. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let me re really do your name. No signal. I think that's how you would say the name. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. In my defense, I've Fair only sent it. one. Who else sent me messages? I don't know. No, don't don't check it. Don't check oh, it. I don't check you, it. He's baiting you. I want to check baiting you. I want. I'm getting He's baited. There's baiting five now. You. There's five. Who could be? Who could be messaging? Classic me? bear TV gaslighting right here. Classic Bear TV. You should have done lighting. a side schmeckle bet. Is Bear lying to me? <laughs> True. Wait, honestly, I got it. If Bear is lying to you, right? What are your thoughts if, on if Annie bear is... lane? I don't like Annie. Okay, wait, wait. Lane. I want Annie out of the wait, game. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Wait, yeah. I got it. I got it. If Bear isn't lying, Bale stays at the same like number. But if he is lying <laughs> to you, reset it. And he did set the message. <laughs> yeah, we we reset Bale. Okay, 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 okay. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, does Chad agree to that? He only sent one. He told the truth. He told the truth. Uh, God, I think you're handsome, but well, also like, we you're don't exactly know my type. You look like the kind of guy who don't want a dog. Never met. Oh, it's oh, it's again. <laughs> I love you, Pickle. Yeah, I mean, I I think since Pickle messaged you four times, I think we should quadruple bail. Should quadruple honestly, bail, yeah. How close are they to yeah. the bail? By the way, I haven't checked. I I think we should like, we should like increase bail like bail like you know if pickle messages once it's double if he messages twice it's oh triple. my god they're like seven they're less than seven thousand away uh oh Ooh. I said I think I think we should quadruple bail because he just pickle messaged you four times I donated two k and no one said a word damn it I read that yeah. I should have ignored that he wrote that right we should have all just ignored that he wrote that. Yeah, we should have just ignored it. Uh, not cute. First off, you might be. And second off, um, what rank is this? This is up to Emerald? Mostly Plats. I hit yes, it. The, yeah. This is commercial. This is, this is Plat average. Correct. Oh, someone you don't know helping co contribute to the bail. Only about 4,000 and change the, left. Neymar Sticks asked you with the true rank uh, grouping of... Uh, Commercial. It's somewhere between Iron and Challenger. It's somewhere between Iron and Challenger. I agree. Yeah. I think Economy is also somewhere between Iron and Challenger. Economy is. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you watched some games of Economy last night, ZD. I think you can attest to that. Somewhere between I did. That. I did. I, I, I watched some fucking Economy games. I don't even think there was like an Economy game on, and I watched some Economy games, dude. I'm in Economy, man. Did you watch my game? Actually, you sent me a little well, okay. cutie, you sent me a little cutie face afterwards. I did, I did. I watched a little bit of y'all. I watched Zary get acquired. Zary did. uh Killed. Stop watching. I'm like, okay, they won this series. Yeah. Well, but the rat, but the rat lords were also playing. So like. Oh yeah, you had to divide your attention there. Sure, I get that. This little figure. So like, I gotta like, you know, I gotta support my boys. For sure. For sure. Yes. Yes, Did you... Azir isn't stupid. He took grasp. Yes. <laughs> We're just going take Azir. Yes. Did you I push love it. down this game? I have not. I don't bet. I'm not going oh to crazy. Quick little run out of the gates I, I like, here. Let's see where they head right now. I like, I like hoarding my money. I like hoarding my money. Because you know how much a, a Schmeckle costs? Like 35 Bubble. US dollars? What? One schmeckle. How much is one schmeckle cost? A schmeckle costs one schmeckle. That's, that's a lot of schmeckles. True, I guess. 30 seconds to minion spawn. Also, what time are you at? So we can say. I'm that. at 30, 40. I'm at KB. I'm at 42, 43. 
Yeah, I'm at 49. I'm positive 49. All right, play it now. All right, we're good. Shout out One Tail for winning me ten dollars. Bear TV. Uh, I def Dream, get a. Bear, bear and Les Force are actively just gambling. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, let's get that going. I'm gonna make you guys really ill at home. I'm gonna drag this camera all around. Let's see where these people. Yeah, go. I agree with that. I'm fine with that. Well, that's good. Let's even though we're above these guys right now, let's watch them get drag or get blue buff right here. Uh oh. Yeah. Ashen. Oh wait. Coming in like a little freak, just getting a warden. Oh god, this is dizzy. doing. I'm so sorry, chat. Let's watch them. Let's watch them get the blue buff. Let's watch them get the blue buff from over here. Exactly, exactly. See, the best part of this is like, because I can't see what you're looking at. I have to like look at like the stream. The stream and see like what's <laughs> sticking in the <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like three seconds behind. We gotta hit that. Stream. That's it. Be over here. Oh, get oh, out. Full, oh, full mellow. You didn't know about this? This is a uh, League of Legends. Ugliest <laughs> POV of all time. Yeah, that's right, James the Pig. Well, you guys are still in jail. You're gonna have bad POVs to you post bail, baby. Yeah, true. You get you get shit POVs until you post bail. <laughs> that's what happens when you're in jail. <laughs> we saw the dominance of Dino last game. This time he's playing something a little bit closer to a dinosaur. Nice double bubble right there. Panda's nice able to double grab double bubble. Something. For some damage and a nice Q from a reap. Stuff there again. It is the Hail of Blades Varus. I do honestly like this build a lot more. Again, understanding he probably isn't gonna be able to auto people that much this fight, so he just needs to focus on landing poke, just forcing people away. Uh, now it is interesting to note, uh, Dino is playing something closer to a dinosaur in this game, so I feel like it's like a plus five damage buff. Yeah, I think I think he you actually I mean? it's like when you wear sunglasses against Leona, it's like you do more or less damage, right? Based on it's a right, right. Oh, exactly, exactly, exactly. Danny Granny. Still a great name. Cheeto's no yeah. longer in the game though. They did switch mid laners. I guess that's why we're not seeing this air after turn. Something we might have been smart enough to mention earlier if we really saw it. Yeah, it is going to be Ashes. I believe Ashes is their normal starter. I believe he has this thing called Traffic, but here comes Romance looking in on Zandy Granny. Yeah, nice flash away to stay alive for a little bit longer. Does he have a pullback under tower? He doesn't, but Sauce also making that roam up there to the top lane. Yeah, good good gank up there. Blows the early flash, forces Mordekaiser to back really far away. Zyno Dino will be able to get, get this crash under turret. Doesn't he have to blow TP if he wants to? Can just walk straight back to lane and secure teleport advantage for himself. Much more chill of a game. Start game two as we do have SP now marked properly on your screens. What the hell? Oh, you guys fun. finished the challenge? Oh my god, what you posted fun. bail. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, jailbreak. We have. Oh, if only we have to double it. <laughs> we have to. I guess we gotta double it. I guess we gotta double it. Oh uh -oh. my god! I can't believe it. All right, I'll put. I'll put rewards back up. I'll allow you guys to make the rewards again. No, that means they can make me drink. I know. No. I know. But they posted bail, so I will put rewards back on the table. Praetorian, I took rewards away from them. That's why they needed to post bail. Um. I'll do that right now. Just because I'm an evil criminal doesn't mean you have to expose me live here in chat, bro. I mean, if you're an evil criminal, I mean, like, you're arresting the scoundrels of low budget LCS. I mean, most people are scoundrels, so yeah, right? I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they're probably being arrested for, like, Larency. I don't even know what Larency is. It's just a funny word. It is a good word. Also, a good I know word is no sums. More than one word, yeah, but no. Dino knows. No sums oh, on the Mordekaiser oh here, but he does have you coming back up! Danny, you're crazy! He gets it. Oh, oh my god, Danny, you're crazy! Oh my god. You know what? I'll do it. It takes two to take out just for that. Yeah, Zanny Granny going hammy up in the top lane right there. You know what? You know what? Hold on. I got it. I'll do it. Oh wait, rewards aren't back. Never mind. 
Chat, yeah. you have to give me a text to the Chenko. Yeah, currently, uh, you guys posted bail. You now have a court date after the court date. <laughs> the court date is this game, uh, because I'm not gonna open up uh, another another browser while we're in this game right now. It'd slow it down too much. The FPS might go to one. I don't think you know. Damn, chat's free, but how free are you? Free really? chat. Hashtag free chat. Yeah, but a great start there. Oh, they're Ronky though from Zanny Granny, because honestly, Mordecai's are getting ahead is really good. Does now have the Death Realm. So we'll send Romance underneath. It's but... taking a lot of damage right here. And does get taken down in the end. Bubble's going to connect down here in the bot lane, but they are not going to find anything with it. Yes! Pure First Blood. The gold is still in favor of the uh, Renekton, simply because, you know... Because of that early play, because of that early flash, the Mordekaiser was forced to TP back up, and Renekton didn't have to. So then, when Mordekaiser killed him, he instantly had a reset because of how low he was. Move finds the bear. Walks back. Bear still able to Sorry. grab the right one right there, and Roman's actually doing a lot of damage. But Sauce gonna trade it back. Now the bites are coming through. Rain Man is caught between a rock and a hard place. He gets ulted, but he's able to drop that E as well. Oh. That looked broken. I don't know what you think. I don't know what happened. <laughs> That looks so fucking goofy, I'm, I can't lie. Well, nobody went down, and all of the Void Grubs went to the side of SBBC, and the Dragon went to Lil PP. So we saw the exact same thing happen last game. We saw the same trade. Yeah, we do see it going up, but this time again, you already have two plates down in the top side, and your Varus is starting, it's really taking it to the Zaya here. So the early game snowballing here is going to be a lot better coming out from the side of uh, SBBC. I just read chat and I saw that Luffy asked if he timed out. <laughs> Why? Friend, on that Zyra again. Yeah, Dino trading in right now here onto Zanny Granny, but we'll get the better of him here. Again, again, just trying to survive. Right now, Dino really taking it to him. Oh, Up almost naked. five, around 500 gold. Wow, that's sitting on 1400 right now as well. Sauce is on a sneaky little mission right now down at the bottom. We might pan to it in one second here if he does make the play. He's looking he for something. This... He's being he patient. Make... It's all hell he finds MCC! And there's a curse for Sad running back on top there. He'll pick up one. Now Marif is the next target. Bandage Toss is going to connect, and all the damage is going to follow. A nice flash away keeps him alive. Oh, but here, comes here comes Romance. Nice ultimate out of the Zion. He's gonna flash forward! He's looking for the feathers, but he hasn't been able to use it! He's not even able to pull it up to Marif in time! Oh. Bandage Toss doesn't connect either! They're trying to keep Romance off of the ADC, and they do, but Azir now roaming down here. They're going to have to back up and just settle for the one kill. Yeah, oh, what, what what almost was a completely disastrous play from the side of LPP because the Zaya was trying to find the Ferris Eagle, trying to find the angle, just couldn't find it. And I feel like if she just full commands, like, okay, I'm not killing Ferris, let me just try and blow this, uh, this, uh, Volibear up, doesn't even find that. You do find the kill to get the CS numbers right now, just ballooning up. For the side of SBBC. Yeah, uh, you know, Lil PP just trying to blow up SBBC. Couldn't quite do it. Um, but they get what's coming to them. And they are able to pick up that one kill. And burn a couple of summers, too. Yeah. Ferris is opting for this poke build here. So will... They'll just try and every time they see Zaya show up, they will just try and nail him with one of those piercing arrows. <laughs> that thing already doing like 300 damage to the Zyra here. Yeah, this is the thing about Lil PP Boy's picking this phase too. He's so good at going in and out very quickly, and he's not really accomplishing too much yet, but I think it, it might bear fruit later on. 
Yeah, but that bone plating from Ashen really putting in work. Again, this is the thing with Tank Azir. If you're in a matchup where you can really abuse it, it's still good. Nothing about it actually got nerfed. That's actually a nice ability to catch this wave before it crashes. Warding off a potential dive from that Volibar, you do have the Stormbringer. And the angle is potentially there for a dive, so you just have to watch out. Yeah, Zyra's still finding some poke down on them. Azir has roamed down. They should be finishing up that dragon in just a moment. And Rennington doing a good job on that mini-map. If you take a look, just warding up and making sure no one's on those grubs while they were doing that dragon. So they might be able to grab all six grubs here. They got the first three. Yeah, won't even lose that much here. As I believe Death Realm actually is used by Xanny Granny up in the top lane. But Dino will just be able to pop the Dominus, Dominus and walk away here. Actually, might be a winning fight. Everyone is letting him know that, hey, by the way, Fizz is up here. In case you did not know, he is up there. I don't know if anyone in chat has heard this rumor. Yes, I own the LBLCS, but there, I've heard a rumor. I don't know if it's true. Even though I probably could just DM one person and find out, I've refused to. I've heard a rumor. Rumor is that okay. Ruffian is going to keep track of how many times you ping this split. Uh -oh. oh my god. I'm never pinging again. Sorry, uh oh, a lot of damage coming out and a massive amount of damage. Look at that bully bear going into the ultimate right there. Zanny Granny is able to help pick up one though. Rayman is going to find a big ultimate from Stop. the deer. Pushes the back into trouble. Flash over the wall from one. Sauce now in a heap of trouble. Can't hit the bandage. Sauce tried to finish off one but couldn't. It's a one for one trade. Both junglers are down but it is LPP running for the hills. Yeah. And then again, good one for one trade. The early scrapping is kind of going in the favor of uh lpp here but it just feels like you know sbdc is able to always get something more on these fights yeah. again it's a one for one but sbbc gets two grubs to go with it right you know right. they took a one for one in bot side but they get the dragon for it so it always feels like even though these fights are incredibly even sbbc keeps finding advantages uh death be no propaganda in the chat thank you um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of things. There's a spider right here on my computer. Hang on. Come on to it. There's a little spider in my hand. Buggle was ganked by Elise IRL. Ganked by Elise IRL as Ashen's ganked by Sauce. In this game, Slow nice flash away nice from flash. the bandage. Toss might be able to stay alive a little bit longer. No, he is not. Sauce says, that's mine. I burned his flash. I get the kill. Yeah, sadly, uh, Abubu has this thing called two Qs. Yes, so even if you flash away from one, you still have to dock the other one. Another friend. A trash animal J-Lo? I'm gonna assume that's your name, trash animal J-Lo. Uh, thank you so much for the follow up to the LBLCS. Go around back, talk to Todd. <laughs> what, to what, what's Nami doing kids. up here? Nami's hanging out. Nami's roaming around. What's the fish doing? Romance on He's some work from... duty. Yeah, Varus is, looks like he will probably walk from it here. He's kind of walking to that blue buff that I think he might take over the mid lane here. No, looks like he's just gonna get the blue buff. This will be Herald now going back over to the side of SPBC. So again, the neutral objective, the map control right now is all in favor of SPBC. Yeah, they're having really good roams and it's just a little bit too slow from little pp boys right now they can't quite keep the same rate up but now they're setting up for this dragon they might be able to snag this scuttle before they come down too it's these cs advantages that give them these this a little bit more gold that just let them be a little bit stronger in these fights as well but little pp they're doing a good job finding the picks they just can't win these big skirmishes when when they happen around these objectives yeah, they just can't find the more plays, right? They're finding the kills, but there's no more plays. Kills are, like, if you get a kill, that's fine, but if you're not getting anything for kills to advance future plays, it's like, okay, you're just kind of back in the same scenario. It's really the same scenario. We've seen this one before. Yeah, Rayman also has roamed up here. He's going to drop that ultimate. It still connects even after the flash. They knock him up. The shark is right there. Romance coming back up. No chum the waters now, though, as Ashen also arrives says rain man get out of here and he hops skip jumps away again what ends up being what looks like a great pick but because renekton again just buys time he just sitting there buying time buying time buying tape it becomes a one for one 
Due to the low budget LCS, uh, lefty heated, we can't get everything right. So if something's wrong, uh, we just have the budget to, to correct it. And yeah. we probably never will. Yeah, it had to come out of the budget this year. Yeah, an ultimate being dropped right there, and there's the flash out of fear to Panda as Rain Man's running Mach 10 onto him. He's gonna drop that E and try to get away, but he does get ulted, and Marie is gonna help finish him off right there as he picks up that oh, kill. Oh, here goes Now Simon's in a massive amount of trouble, and everybody else has to run for the hills. Panda stays alive. Step there from Rain Man, just didn't commit to it. Thought he could one-shot the Nami there, but a clutch heal. This is going to be the bot lane turret, and this is going to be Dragon. I feel like SPBC has kind of blown this early game wide open. Yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to resemble elements of what happened last game, although the gold lead is not as substantial at this point as it was last game. Danny Granny, a little bit of a menace, does have that Rylize finish, does have those bladed steel caps. Soft wants to go for it. The bandage toss connects. He's stolen things before, but he can't quite get in there. Only that bandage toss. So close to there. actually I mean, would have cost him his life if he had gone out. No, he doesn't have flash. I was gonna say if he had flash, he maybe gets out there, but it is still hard to tell. Again, right now looking at the state of the gold, how much gold? He is zero a thousand gold up. Bears is about six hundred gold up and has a shutdown. And despite how well Zanny Granny has been playing these fights, he is still down gold in that top lane but again right now this this is zero from ash and again who didn't play game one he was stuck in this thing called traffic putting on a show here in game two yeah and he has been riding them hard since he's got in here for sbbc doing a lot of damage to these guys and three and one is score but here to panda is gonna get taken down by zandy granny they're gonna get the return damage right back on to him crest gonna drop that ultimate try to buy themselves some time slice and dice should be coming out but a nice root right there oh, nice on route. a dino keeps him alive sauce that is Meanwhile. the wrong way to run nice curse of the sad mummy and a flash might keep him alive yeah just trying to cover for his support there but realizes that by covering he is just straight up walking at them Stormbringer is available here. It is going to be dropped down. Uh, but Chum the Water is also being used. And Sauce maybe trying to go back in. Tower helping out a little bit, but not enough. Simply Edge says, trust these little PP boys are a late game team. That's true. I have heard that they're, they're growers, not showers. So that makes sense. I heard from a source. I'll say who the source is, but... Jeff B's on the same page. You know. That's right, baby. I heard it from a source. I heard it from a source. But no, yeah, and that's the other problem right now with um, LPP's team. That they just don't clear waves, like, at all. Like, Fizz, Fizz being permanently mid lane and having to catch all these waves against Azir, Varus, Nami. Yeah. Like, it just feels so impossible. It's, it's a range difference, too, here, right? Because Azir can get you poked down. Varus can poke you down. Even Volibear can throw that E out, which does so much damage, like unreasonable amount of damage it does if it drops on you. So the amount of like just long range projectile bullshit they can throw at you is disruptive to champions like Mordekaiser, like Fizz. Even Zaya, like we were talking about, doesn't want to walk up and clear these things because they're getting poked down. Yeah, and don't forget, Volibear also has a second projectile he can throw out called himself. Uh, <laughs> especially if you're just sitting under turret, and he does this thing where he just turns the turret off. Yeah. They only give him that switch, which is really interesting. I guess Bard has it. Yeah. Bard has the same switch. Like, I feel like I feel like champions like Jin should have it. I think that would be a good balance change. Thoth back here finds a little bit of damage. There goes come the water. It's down. Nice dodge right there over the ultimate, but a teleport is coming in. They decide to split up. They're saying maybe you can ride this out. I cannot. This guy is on me. There's the slice and dice, but a nice Q and a nice splash over the wall. Now splash, actually. Run. A lot of damage might be coming out. There's the ultimate bidding drop. They might choose to go in on to Zaya. They have an in route now. Careful here. Yeah, Romance over the wall. Could choose to go in right here. And he does the over. Your... There's all of the damage. And they are all over these guys. As Danny Ganny tries to get back to the back line to help Rayman. Taking so much, he might go down. And he does it. The fight for Bully Bear that does it. Doss trying to protect his ADC. As Danny Granny is out in the open against the rest. And can he find the kill? Romance needs a couple more autos. Look at that healing on him. 
as the ultimate is available. Could choose to drop it, and he does. I don't think he'll get into position to do the damage. He cannot. It's an ace for SPBC. Great, a great fight there. Get that was taken on the terms of LPP. I mean, you know, they were the ones who looked on the Azir first, but again, a TP from Dino just split them up. I feel like Rain Man could have just ran into his tri brush. I mean, like, you're not necessarily split up, but it means, like, hey, we're kind of just sacking the dragon. Well, dragon would have been up. You could have potentially reset and found your way back into this game, but. You know, the Volley Bear is just putting in so much work in these fights. Yeah, he's a menace to have to deal with, right? He's got this under sky. He's coming right at you. Uh, he's going to not only heal when he gets up on you with that Q, he's going to start healing with his W. He's going to have a shield with the E, too. So even if you're focusing on him because he's the closest to you, he's just brain tanking all day. So... You have the Nami as the bubble is going to land on the Fizz, but should just be that. Nothing more. Okay, 20 minutes at this game. We only got a 7.5k gold lead, so 2.5 less than last game. And we saw what happened last game. They were still able to push it to a super late, like, five dragons in game. As the third dragon for the side of SBBC should get picked up here. Although there are some people lurking. Yeah, just kind of lurking around, but they do have full knowledge that they are there. Okay, we'll just take this dragon for free. Again, the other thing to note too, right now, I'm just kind of going to scroll around the map. The turrets for the side of SB SBBC have, like, barely been touched. Yeah. yeah. Like, mid lane and bot lane are practically full HP. As here comes Dino. Oh, oh it's a minion. save. Christmas had but he does connect, though. But he's got a lot of healing right now. And Toss goes back under tower. He's not quite tanking enough to do that right now. I mean, we've seen this fight before, have we not? Yeah, like... we saw it last game when he was on the Yone. But he's got help this time. Ashen is able to arrive. He's in the death realm right now. There's a big shield to keep him alive for a little bit longer. He's going to try to flash away. And Zyra's going to drop that ultimate down. Ashen gets knocked up. But Romance is here. He says, give me a kiss. I'm going to take you with me right now. He's looking for the next one, too. The ADC in trouble for the BB. See, he'll go down as well. Yeah, Dino just so comfortable in these 2v1, understand the limits of his champions, and just like bring more, I will take you all on with my team. Yeah, Baron. And this will be the big purple worm for SBBC. Yeah, a lot of arms on that freak guy though. You he's a certified freak. The certified freak. Well, things are looking good if you put your Schmeckles down on SBBC, and if you put them on uh, little PP boys, they're growers. So hang in there. It's like a, it's like a bet that it's like a future. You're, you're, it's a future bet. Right. <laughs> right. You just want that uh, that bet to mature. Uh oh, Mareep has found the sad mummy in the jungle. The sad mummy is all alone. He's begging for people to come help him. Here comes a teleport. Oh he might choose God. to go back in. He's actually choosing to just run for the hills. He wants to stay alive. Business TP is blown there. And again, he is still like a threat, but like he would have to commit everything. And knowing that he's gonna die, just try and blow someone up. But again, who are you blowing up this game? He would have to be the Varus, but he has the heal and the berry to kind of absorb so much of this damage. At this point, you kind of got to try it. I mean, Azir's about to be like, that's a pistol basket. I was about to say, I don't know if he's a building force on nature here. It's going to be kind of crazy. See what he does end up going. I don't think he needs to have that much damage. The rest of the team does so much. And there's no true full tank, but there's a big full fight right now. Zyra drops there ultimate. She gets caught in the bubble on the other side. Here comes the tidal wave. Here comes the romance into there. Ashen doing a good job. Oh, my God. One. And over now, he's he's still trying to hang on. He's going to drop the ultimate to stay alive for a little bit longer. Just trying to keep them at bay. Can't do too much. I have to be forced to recall over there. This mid inhibitor, Ashton doesn't even die throughout all of that. And SBBC showing their stuff against LPP. Yeah, they're not afraid to whip it out here. And they are in a commanding lead. Brain Man gets totally chunked. Laying the wood down. 
That's so would say. Definitely laying the wood down, but here comes the return fight. They might be able to find it underneath some towers right now, but that is a big dino on the back line doing a massive amount of damage right there. They're trying to hold on to this as long as they he can. Chose. They're all the way back underneath the tower, just healing. And there's a lot of damage coming out. That's a trade for one. They find the Varus, but they are exposed. Their nexus is exposed. And all of a sudden, that's PPC running for the hills. We saw this last game. We saw them hang oh, on to the game. Again. Can they hang on to the game? I think they might be able to. They clear them out of their base. Pretty massive. I fuck up. Your mic is just fucking dying. It's so <laughs> funny. It only it only gets super shot because of your what your mic is just like died that entire fight. It's like I would just hear you for like a second. Like you would be like making a sound and then you'd cut away. So Zudiac, you're the only one who can know why my mic died because it also happened on your computer. Uh, but it's a secret hidden thing that happened. It it cuts me out for a second. Why? It's like a hidden hidden jutsu. Yeah, it's hidden. Jutsu. hidden jutsu. I'll explain it when we're off air. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. I mean, I am part of like you know the uh, the secret society of. You're LPCS. part of the shadow work. I mean, the nothing. I mean, you're part of nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're nothing. Very cool. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of things. Whether there's no thing or something that can get him back into this game, they're gonna need to find it. Down 10k. In their base. Yeah, this will it'll be the Cloud Soul going down, and we'll just have to be another base defense. Luckily now, Baron is not up for a little while. They do have Cloud Soul, which is gonna be pretty obnoxious to deal with. Uh, but you can, if you can withstand another base fight, find another overstep from them, you do have the potential to potentially get that bear and again, buy yourself more time, but Ashton doesn't want you to! Yeah, finds the sad mummy, and I think they needed him to hang on to this base, because they are coming charging in, and they're saying, we want one thing, and that is a win right now. Man, they're going to push deep into the base right here, and a lot of damage, a nice ultimate from Ashen. is not going to connect onto Rayman, he's able to find the Nami. Nice ultimate right here, though. They might be able to haunt this game for a little bit longer. He's going to flash on to heal. They're going to find the double kill onto the Fizz. It's a three for one right now. Here comes Zanny Grandy, just trying to keep them off the base. Don't hit the Nexus, just hit me. And Zaya trying to do everything they can, but it is not enough. And DBC take it in two. C take a bow for that performance. That was genuinely clean throughout both games. You know, except outside like the, the super late game, super ended game in both games. But I feel like they just kind of like got a little bit ahead of themselves in those fights. And man, listen, if I had to give a player of the series, if this was a one man vote, I would vote for Dino, man. He was insane yeah. both of these games. The Yon play in top lane during game one was unreal. We saw him have multiple 2v1s, 3v1s. At one point, there was four people trying to kill him. He still walked away with two kills, barely went down in the end. I mean, this dude could buy you so much time. But I think we got to do a big shout out to Lil PP boys because the way they were able to hang on to that series, even though they ended up losing in both games in the end, they held on to those games in very strange fashion both times. No, they, they kind of just like decided that like, hey, you know, what do we, you know, what the hell, what do we have to lose? And just kept fighting. And I think, you know, if they have anything to hang their hat on in this series, it's that like, we can scrap early with like every team. Because I definitely think SBBC is probably one of the better teams in this group. I mean, I'm not going to say they're the best team because like, you know, Rat Lord's on top. Um, <laughs> but... Like, I definitely feel like they can come away with the series. Like, hey, if we just clean up that mid game, you know, make sure we can find those more plays. Like, they're in great shape. Yeah, we did see them actually win the kill game in the beginning of that game, too, for sure. I mean, game one was a monster fest from both teams. There was more than a kill a minute. Game two was a little bit more tame. We saw them get some kills. But like you're saying, they didn't have those more plays. They didn't, they weren't able to turn it into all of those extra things that came. I'm going to say, yes, I think Dino deserves that MVP role, but I do want to give a big shout out to Fear to Panda. He actually just posted in chat right now, GG's Fear to Panda. Um, this dude was absolutely insane. Nautilus in the game one, in the game two, doesn't have the hook, but still provided so much threat, having a lot of CC. Tidal waves were off the chain, so I think that's definitely a support you got to watch out for. It's a play-making support, and I also think 
both of these teams were able to shine in the spotlight tonight. We had a couple of good plays from all of them. I'm wondering, you, you've got the rats uh, on, on lock. You, you, I mean, you were just talking about, I mean, the posts in chat right now. Rats, 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 rats. What are you, uh, you going to go tell those rat teams about these guys right here? I mean, I definitely say that SBBC definitely is one of the at least three best teams in the group. Um, no question. And I definitely think that LPP, you know, this is not a team you can just kind of trifle with. This is not a team that, you know... You can't give them a way back take, in. Take yeah, it. you can't give them a way back in because if they t if they get an inch, they will take a mile, man. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, willing to do an interview with any of the SBB you guys that want to jump into community, we'll take one or two of you into here. And if you guys can't, that is all good. Um, we will just close out stream without you, but I think that they'll happen. Um, I did want to ask you one more question, ZD, because I know that um, I know that Lachance came in here earlier and tried to claim that I'm AI generated. I just want, what do you think I am? I just wanted to ask that. I think, I think you could be human. All right, I'll take could be human. I'm dropping in SBBC Dino, the MVP of the series, especially after that Yone play up in the top game. Juan, how you feeling, my dude? I'm feeling pretty good right now. Feeling myself a little bit. Yeah, I mean, dude, you. I mean, we were just gooing over the the Yone play up in the top lane. Can you walk me through comms of what the heck was going on, either out of your mouth or out of everyone else's mouth, or was it just deadpan silence when that was going? Um, yeah, it was definitely a, we were trying to set up dragon. I called that I'm going to pull people top and do something stupid, which I did. <laughs> and, uh, we, with well, the second heck room showed, I called dragon team listened. And then it was just, it was just them doing dragon. And then I was like, wait, I might actually be going crazy. And then I went crazy. You know, you did go absolutely nuts. <laughs> we were losing our mind. Um, you guys all, you guys did not lose any game in the series, but you did lose a couple of team fights. <laughs> Can you run me through game two at the end when you guys are all like, just before you ended, you all got like pinched out of their base, taken down. Were you guys trying to dive to pad those stats or were you like, I think we actually need to kill them to take this Nexus? Um, I was in belief that we needed to kill them, but I was also in the Mordekaiser ultimate, so I was unsure what happened that fight. I would have to take a look. <laughs> I was, it, it, I it was just legally survived. not his fault. Yeah, it is legally not his fault then, for what happened. And then at the very end, my my Ashen was calling for hit the Nexus when I well, yeah, the fight was lost, and then I kind of maybe trolled a little bit and tried to hit the Nexus that was full HP, and then I was like, oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, in the death row, you're like, guys, I literally can't hit the fucking Nexus. What are you doing? Literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> well, dude, um, you guys absolutely crushed it. Great games from you guys. Um, I know you did a mid-switch, too. Now, uh, Zodiac was saying that was because Ashen was in traffic. Is that what it was, or do you guys have a deep enough fence where you're kind of willing to play anybody anywhere, anytime? Or? Uh well, we we have this as our starting five, and then we have Cheeto as our sixth man, as we say. Has he played a great game? I know he's played jungle before in the LBLCS. I don't think I've ever seen him play mid. Is that somewhere that he likes to play, or is he like a full fill? He's a full fill guy, yeah. He's been our sub, oh. and he plays any role that he needs to. He's got a crazy Zareth. Don't let him get on that Swain. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, yeah. We saw him pop off on that Zareth, have a really good game one. Well, um, you guys... As I was saying, play a super great series. Normally what we do in these interviews too is we let you guys shout out someone on their team that you thought had a really good series. Um, anybody in particular that you think deserves a little bit of love from their team? Uh, their AD Carry, the the fries guy, Nug Fries. Yeah. They're very he let's just say we was we knew that we were gonna be playing to top side, so when when he was able to just hold his own down bot. Yeah. I was I was getting a little worried because like yeah we are snowballing through top but this every game I'm looking at their AD carry like mm, yeah you he's not it. he's not behind and the, that's always like a thing especially in like a, a five scenario where if the AD carry strong you it's rough yeah that I mean he was stacking up and he was getting ready to take you guys down you guys also threw him a couple of respect bands too so that's always important to pay attention to mm -hmm. drafts about like who 
might be trouble they might be able to find out just from the bands alone well congrats on the win dino we have a lot of uh B by the way i hope you guys did recognize it was bbc versus Lil pp i hope you guys did recognize that yeah yeah uh, we did we did <laughs> well I, I did anyway i don't know about anybody else but i did <laughs> yeah it was a banger of a game you guys definitely played long and hard all night so proud of you for that um congrats on the win dude anything you want to do to sign us off uh yeah next time we get streamed we'll give you guys three. Oh wow that's, that's a strange, well, well, that's well, a strange... <laughs> dude honest honest no i'm so down please give me three games yeah i'll give you three. Give I'll, three i'll hit you with something spicy in game two when oh, we dude, win game nah, one let's trust uh wow, that's have incredible you, dude, i have a great float chart that it can keep you for your top lane picks <laughs> <laughs> yeah send it my way send it my way yeah, I got I got you. You. all right guys thanks for watching the lblcs we'll be